Hey Marcus, I got a fancy website. I got the right products and affiliate offers. I got some traffic, but no one's buying my stuff. How do I get people to actually buy things so I can get paid? Hey guys, it's Marcus here and welcome inside. If you're new here and you like learning about how to make money online with your own offers, affiliate offers, and basically selling stuff online, then make sure you click the subscribe button and click the little, little bell notification icon so you get the new videos when I come out with them and you can join us live right here every Wednesday at 10 a.m. and Friday at 10 a.m. for our live training tutorials to help you make money. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about why things are not selling. A lot of people come to me and they say, Marcus, why is my stuff not selling? I got a website, I got traffic, I got affiliate offers, but I'm not making any money. And we're going to talk about the three reasons that you're not making sales. We got them right here. Number one, number two, and number three. So it's very important that you keep these in mind, take some notes and go through these because they're gonna change the way that you do marketing online and they're gonna show you why you're not getting sales. Now the first reason people do not get sales online is because their traffic is not targeted. That means you are not targeting the right people or the right group. You need to put your product in front of people who one, want it, two, can afford it, and three, are excited about it. You gotta get in front of your ideal customer. A lot of people think that web marketing is all about numbers. Hey, if I could just show my product to millions of people, someone's going to buy. Now, while that might be true, the chances of showing your product to millions of people is probably pretty slim. So for the average person out there, we need a very, very targeted audience. We need to find out exactly who's going to benefit most from our product. So if you're in a software industry, let's say you're selling things for helping people get more sales or whatever, right? You can go for people looking at how to improve webinar conversion, people looking for how to make new buttons for their website, people looking for how to click PayPal and things like that. If you have something for people that are looking for self-development, maybe you have a product that helps people be better or whatever it is, right? You want to go for people that are looking for like maybe depression or people that are looking for how do I get out of a slump or why am I not productive or why don't I feel happy? Those kind of things are very good. So putting yourself in front of the right customer and the right visitor is the most important thing. If you are going out there and you say, well, Marcus, I just want people looking up software or people looking up personal development. The problem is, is they're not a really targeted customer and they're usually very difficult and expensive to get visitors in that market. Now, the second reason that your products and services might not be selling and is broken up into two parts. Number one is they don't want it right? Do they really care? Like you might have a product and you're like, hey, this is the greatest thing in the world, but nobody really cares. Lots of people are like that. Lots of businesses are in the business graveyard because they had products that they thought that were going to be good, but they didn't test the market, right? How are we going to know things are going to be good? You could think, well, a guy came out with a pet rock. I'm going to have the pet grass or the pet brick, right? That You don't know if that's going to work or not. You have to test the market. You have to look at what they're going to be interested in. So first of all, they don't want it. You need to not only be in front of people who want your product, but also find out if there's a demand for it. If there's no demand for your product or people simply don't want it, you're not going to make sales. The second part of number two is your price. Now, the price objection is really difficult to deal with because it's not really real. People will pay whatever price you ask as long as it shows the value of what they want. For example, if I say, hey, I can help you make $100,000 a year online, well, you're gonna pay a lot for that if you believe me. Very, very, very important. And we're gonna put that on the second one too. We'll put believe, they don't believe you. They don't believe that the product's going to do what you say it's going to do or the affiliate offer or whatever it is. But the product or the price one is very interesting because we look at the price and we're like, okay, how does this work, right? Why is someone willing to pay $300,000 for a fancy Mercedes 
as opposed to someone paying $20,000 for a regular car. Okay, we look at that, and again, it has to do with targeting, right? If you target people who don't have the means to afford your product, you're not going to sell it. Okay, second of all, you need to overcome the price objection by telling them what they're going to get for it. For example, if the guy's selling a $300,000 car, he's not just selling a car, he's selling a mindset of a exclusive community of people who own a certain type of car and have a ter certain type of stigma or status along with it. So it's much more than just the car. All right, very important. So number two, they either don't want it, can't afford it, or you haven't shown the price. And lastly, they might not believe you. Very important, okay? If you have like a replica car, they might not believe that it's a good car and it might not be, right? All right, number three, is the most important one also. These are all extremely important, and if you're not making sales, and you're not getting people to click on your affiliate offers, and people aren't buying things from your web links and your websites and all that stuff, these are the things you need to know. The last one is you simply don't know how to sell it. All right, this is where a lot of people waffle it. And I see people on webinars and stuff and they try to do a webinar, they try to sell something. They think they're doing a great job, but they're really waffling it when it comes to sales. This is what I see all along. It's like people get all excited and crazy when it comes time to sell stuff because of a mindset we have about sales. A lot of people look at sales and they think it's something shady. They think it's something silly. They think it's something crazy instead of looking at it for what it actually is. What is it? Well, if you're doing it right, the idea of sales is to help people make an informed decision and buy something. Plain and simple, right? So just last week, I did a series of webinars for a new software that came out, right? I went in, I tested this software, and I saw, hey, this software is absolutely amazing, and it helps you run your business, right? So what I did is I talked about it. I said, look, these are the three things you need to run your business. Now, instead of just coming out and saying, I got this great software, you need to go buy it, Okay, I might get a few sales. Instead, what I did is I said, look, these are the five things that I do to sell products every day online. Number one, I got to have my mailing list. Number two, I need to have this. Number three, I need to have this. Four, five, I need to have these things. And then I said, guess what? This product makes these five things super easy. Boom, sales pitch done. Very simple. This makes it easy. If I was to say, hey, look, you know, you're feeling depressed or whatever, this product is going to like hypnotize your brain into feeling better and being more productive. Boom, done, right? You don't have to get some crazy sales pitch. You don't have to have some outlandish offer that no one believes. You simply need to tell the truth and say, hey, look, this is what I got. Here's what it's going to do for you. Here's where to get it. Very simple. You got to be very basic of, hey, look, this is what it is, right? These are the things I'm going to teach you. This is called info marketing. We're marketing via teaching. We are marketing via information. That is what you do as an affiliate marketer. That is what you do as a product seller. That's what you do if you're a coach or anything online. You are in the information business. Your job is to educate someone. For example, if a realtor comes to your house and they say, hey, I wanna sell your house, you'll be like, dude, get out of here, clown. But if I come to you and I say, hey, look, a couple of houses sold in your area. I thought you might be interested. Uh, there was one over here that's very comparable to yours that went for $582,000. There's another one that has less bedrooms than yours. It doesn't have a pool, but that one went for, you know, uh, 602. And then there's one over here that sold for this much. So I think if you put your house on the market, we could probably get 587. And they go, wow, that's great. And I say, guess what? I'm not even going to charge you anything if it doesn't sell for something around those numbers. So I'll put it on the market. I'll do all the work. And if you don't want the price I get you, you simply don't accept it. Wow. Okay, that's great. See how I just educated the visitor? Now, again, find your right market. If you go to the guy who just bought his house, he's probably not going to want to sell it. If you go to someone who's lived there a while and has equity, you got a better shot. So notice these three things, focus on these three things, do these three things, and we're going to teach you more about them. Number one, target the right visitor, someone who can actually afford your product, someone who's interested in it, someone that you can help. Number two, make sure that your prospect wants your product. Make sure they can afford it and actually believe that the price is going to help them. And Lastly, on that one, make sure that they believe you. Make sure that you convey trust and you show them something. That's why info marketing is so important because when I teach you something, you say, hey, well, that Marcus guy is pretty cool. He taught me something. 
I might go buy his stuff, right? Because, hey, he's teaching me stuff, and I'm learning, and I'm having a good time, and boom, there we go, a sale is made. As long as the product serves you, like, hey, our Simple Sites Big Profits course is going to teach you all this in detail, along with how to set up your site, how to find your market, how to find products to sell, and everything. You can get it at simplesitesbonus.com. That's an example of how we do that. And by the way, if you want to learn this, go over there and get that product. Next, uh, lastly, number three, uh, they simply don't know how to sell it. Some people just need to learn to sell. And in my course, I actually teach you how to sell, but it's very basic, right? What we want to do is follow these lines. Number one, you got to say, here's what I got. Here's what it is. Okay, now again, remember where they're coming from. If you got a bunch of people coming from a keyword of how to watch football games on your computer, well, then you can take them and be like, hey, check this out. I got these tools for you. Here's some tools. You could get Direct TV. You could get this. You could get that. And you could get this. You could actually watch Direct TV right on your computer and you can watch it whenever you want. Pretty cool. Okay, here's what I got. Here's what it's going to do for you, too. It's going to do this. It's going to let you watch those football games. And then number three, here's where to get it. If I was doing something like a PDF software, right? How do you brand a PDF, make a custom brandable PDF? Lots of people search for that. I say, well, here's how to do it. Okay, step one, two, three. By the way, step number four is get the software that's going to make it a lot easier for you. So notice how we're just selling in a casual way that's actually helping people out and giving them the next step, the logical next step of how to get it. And if you do this right and you focus and you listen to your visitor, you listen to them based on what they click on, what they ask you, what they're looking at, how long they stay there. If you focus on this stuff, you will make sales and you will make money if you do it right. Again, results not typical. You'll never make money watching any of my videos, but if you implement the things you learn, you just might be successful like a few of my students who have done it to be extremely successful doing it the right way. But it does take a lot of work. Nothing in life is guaranteed, but I think if you follow it, you're going to learn some things. Thanks again for watching this. I hope you enjoyed the three steps to selling stuff or the three pillars of selling stuff online. And I look forward to seeing you in my Simple Sites course at simplesitesbonus.com and as a subscriber here on YouTube. Thanks again for watching. I'm Marcus from Affiliate Marketing Dude, and I'll see you in the next video.